Good afternoon guys, how are you all doing? So today I am making a Slimmer World um, lasagna and I'm going to take you along with it and obviously if you are in Slimmer World this is a great recipe and I hope you enjoy this video. So these are the things that we're going to need. We're going to need eggs, lasagna sheets, pasta sheets, chopped tomatoes, Tomato puree, passata. This is the herb, it says mixed herbs, but this is the herb I'm going to go for, which is the Italian seasoning. Low fat cheese, two onions, one pepper, low fat natural yogurt, and 5% less fat minced meat. First, you're going to roughly chop your pepper and your onions. The onions are now cut up and we are going to start frying the mint. Use the fry light. That's nicely coated now. Add the mint once your pan has What you're going to want to do is actually get them on the ground off. Now that the mints have now been ground off, you want to add your vegetables. I'm going to add the onion and the peppers. Stirring. What I normally do is I normally put them to the middle. And give them a couple of minutes and then turn them over again and give them a couple of more minutes. Now that your vegetables have softened up, you're going to want to add your herbs. And also one thing I forgot to put out was the garlic. So I'm going to add the garlic um, powder and the Italian herbs. Adding the Italian herbs, I don't normally measure it out. I don't see really the point. I just put on how much I think. Love garlic. We're quite addicted to it, and then stir it in. By this time, you get a lot of lovely smells from this. Once that has been cooking for a while, it is now time to add the chopped tomatoes. Once the tomatoes are added, stir them in. Once you have let that cook for a little bit, it is time to add the passata. I 
I normally put the whole thing in. And give it a stir in. As you can see, it's getting very tomatoey. This is very, very healthy for you. Once that has been cooking for a couple of minutes, you are going to now add the tomato puree. I do add the whole thing. People are probably like saying, no, you don't need to add all that. But that's what I prefer. I like it to be very tomatoey especially now it's going in the oven so it needs lots of sauce really so we'll see the sauce will evaporate a little bit now time to stir it in This lasagna is five sins per portion. Oh, I just put that everywhere. Um, yeah, sit five sins per portion. But it's worth it because it's very yummy. Now you want to leave the bolognese to simmer while you prepare everything else for the lasagna. So for the next bit, you will need 500 grams of fat free. You also need to add a little bit of nutmeg, obviously not too much because it is quite harmful for me if it's consumed in a large amount. So that will be just fine. That is your sauce ready to go between the pasta. You now need 160 grams of um, low fat cheese to go on top of the lasagna. Okay guys, so the time has come now to put it all into this glass tray and then we'll put it in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. So you are going to start with the bolognese, put a little bit out at the bottom. like this. Right, so we are going 
going to add the lasagna sheets. On top of the lasagna sheets, you are going to pour some of this on and spread it out. Like I said guys, this is a very, very healthy recipe for you. To be honest, it's not really, even though I'm doing Slimrod, it's not really a diet because I'm literally, all I'm doing is eating some natural foods instead of canned and jarred food. So once you have done that, you need to put some more mints on and repeat exactly what, have, what I have just done here. Now that all the layers are on, you are going to add your cheese. Now that the cheese is on, I am going to add a little bit extra to the cheese to make it more tasty and I'm going to put some more of the Italian herbs on top of the cheese. This gives it more flavour and believe me guys this is a very lovely recipe. I'm also going to add a bit of black pepper. So this is to go in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. When you do cook the lasagna, you probably more likely want it to be on 200 because um, that is pretty much the perfect temperature for it to be on. Okay guys, so this is what the lasagna has turned out like. You can see all the herbs and everything and all the cheese. And that's what it looks like on the side. So thank you for watching everybody and